So is it safe for young teens to take the so-called morning after pill? News Channel 15 well-being reporter Alyssa Ivinson asked a local doctor just that today. Alyssa? Well, the answer technically is yes, but the OBGYN I spoke with today says there are concerns with someone so young taking the pill without talking to a doctor first. Plan B one step, known as the morning after pill, could soon be available more easily for people as young as 15. It used to be anyone under age 17 needed a prescription. An FDA decision takes the physician out of the equation. It definitely has an adverse effect on the body and it's very unnatural to take it. The pill changes the body's hormonal chemistry to prevent implantation after having unprotected sex. Given a huge load of progesterone to kind of make the body think that it's already ovulated. And so it, by doing that, it also changes the menstrual cycle and causes uh, irregular menstrual bleeding. Dr. Jeffrey Kly says that process isn't really different in a 15-year-old versus, say, a 25-year-old. But the concern with a young teen using it comes with maturity. They might think that one might be good, but maybe two or three is better. So maybe we'll have kids overdosing on this, which won't cause um, them to go to the emergency room right away, but it'll cause more cramps and more bleeding and more problems. Some people could also be at a higher risk for serious complications like blood clots, stroke, or heart attack. A young kid is smoking or has high blood pressure that may, may not be known or is known. They're without a physician trying to say whether this is a good idea or not. No one will ever know until the bad thing happens. While the FDA's rule puts the pill on regular store shelves and requires the 15-year-old to have ID, a federal judge ruled the pill should be available to anyone, regardless of age, saying it's ridiculous to think an 11 or 12-year-old would even buy it. Cly says think again. I delivered an 11-year-old's baby about a year ago, and I delivered a 12-year-old baby a few years ago. The FDA's ruling does not apply to generic versions of the pill, and there's also no final ruling on the judge's decision to have no age limit, so we'll just have to stay tuned. Okay, thanks so much, Alyssa.